Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox from NECA and Real Toys and their Predator line. Here is the ultimate armored lost Predator from Predator 2. And he is number one from the 30th anniversary set. And we're going to unbox him and review him. And it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room Come From My Room To Yours. And today we are going to unbox and review from Real Toys and NECA and their Predator line. Here is the ultimate armored lost Predator. This is Predator number one from the 30th anniversary set. And as you can see, this box is just decked. Ow, I mean, it is just really nice. You see a beautiful picture right there of the ultimate armored lost predator as he's looking really, really cool. Let me just say what this thing brings. It includes light up LED mask. Hmm, head, right? Well, ultimate light up LED mask head. So a sword, throwing disc, and two interchangeable hands. All right, folks, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's open this window flap open right there. You can see this beautiful predator looking sharp as always in this photo right here. But right here behind his window of pain locked in his plastic prison, there is the monster himself. I don't know if you want to call him an alien, monster, hero, superhero, villain, whatever you want to call him. This is one bad dude right here. Well, bad boy of the cinema scene. Everyone in the world knows exactly just who the Predator is and NECA has captured that moment for us and put it in an action figure for us all. All right, so right there you can see as he's looking really cool, just waiting to make his way out of this box into Moe's toy room. We're going to turn the box to the side right there. You can see that nice, beautiful paintwork that they use on the Predator logo, Predator 2, as it just sparkles with the red. Looks really, really nice. This is for ages 17 and up. Just to let you know, if you're looking for this guy, you will more than likely find him in the NECA section. That's what they're calling it now, or the collector section in the back of the store over by the, at a Target or a Walmart. It's usually in the, in the electronics. So go to the electronics, they'll either be on the back wall or they'll be down an aisle somewhere in the electronics and this is where you will find this guy. You can see this predator looking just ferocious right there, just standing there in action figure form. How you can put him if you choose to, we're going to turn it right here to the side. More of that beautiful just print right there and you can see the number one right there. This is the first one out of a series of them and you can see right there on the back they have included a lot of them so we are going to be predator out i'm going to review predator all week i got a bunch of these so if you have not yet subscribed folks hit that subscribe button because we got a lot of these all right folks so that'll do it for right now what we're going to do is we're going to open the box just to save some time and get them out of there but that way we could present them to you and review them. And it's coming up next. All right, folks. So the first thing we just realized when we pulled this guy out of the box, this figure is just flat out bad ass. I, I got to say it. This, my goodness, this figure is freaking awesome. All right, let's go, with, go through what it brings. It brings an alternate head. Take a look at that. What a figure. These are nice, like nice material. You can see that. Nice plastic. They almost feel like rubber a little bit. Everything is just detailed to the T on this guy. Just loving it. All right, folks, you ready for this head? Check this out. This is like his armored head, right? Now watch this. Did they stay on? All right. <laughs> and then if you want, turn them off. You can turn them on, off. It has an LED inside the head. So when you click it in, you can get them to do it. We'll see if we put it in the dark a little bit later. 
has the dreads coming out the back. This is just dynamite, man. I'm I'm like flipping out right now. I'm I'm like geeking out. All right. And then he brings three sets of hands. He brings a one to hold his sword. You can see that hand right there. Let me put it this way. Has really sharp nails, so be careful. No wonder it's 17 and up. Okay, they all have that like hinge in them, I believe. Is that a is that a hinge or no, they don't have a hinge. It's just just peg sticking out right there for you to do it. Okay. Same with this one. It's the same thing. Kind of an open hand, like as if he's putting you in a trance or going to grab you from the back. And then he has this hand right here. You could probably use this for the uh, saber if you wanted to. Um, I don't know. Well, his sword. Or you could use it just to... Now that he's at Mo's toy room, he could just thumb up all the other predators. Like, what's up, bud? Right? And then he brings his throwing star. Look at this. This is just insane. And I believe like one of these hands i'm not sure if it's this one maybe you can like put his hands in it or one of the ones that he has on maybe he'll hold it like that okay and he brings a sword could you imagine if this part was led like the dart sword from star wars could you imagine if that bottom part lit up the red part how cool that would have been or if maybe they would have put some a little bit more, maybe some LEDs on the actual handle to where they were kind of glowing in different colors, like as if he activates it. Right? Let's turn it to the other side. All right, folks. So I'm super excited. He he did not bring a stand, but he fits on a NECA stand perfectly. This figure is just awesome all the way around. Um, don't know how else to put it. All right, so first off, let's take an up-close look at this figure. He brings a his plasma blaster. Look at the size of that thing. And it comes out and raises up, right? And then you could even make it move around to stock down his prey or pack it right back in however you want, okay? It has all the little tubes and cords and all that that run it sticking out. Just really nice feature. He brings a sheath on the back. So that way he could shove his sword down up in there. Let's see if, it's, if it goes in perfectly. Okay. You can see that. And then he has the dreads that over, overlook everything on this guy. He has armor all the way around. And, and he, as vicious as this guy looks, you would expect him to look, be real pokey. But right now, the only thing pokey are his nails so be careful with that he has a few spikes on his feet um, that you could see that are um, just pokey look at the feet and even like the nails are just pokey the paint scheme is just second to none he has this beautiful like armored like um, utility belt on so if you look at it it is packing some stuff right and it's like a really good material you can see it right and it has some stuff on there look look at the back of it I, I don't even know what that thing is but obviously he's going to use it um just a lot of things so yeah this figure is just nice and then he has his he has some more goodness right here on his legs with some more uh pouches that he holds on that are really really good material all the way around look at this this guy is just nice. Oh my God, I can't stress it enough. All right. And if you could see right there, I don't think the sheath comes off. I'm not going to force it off because I don't know if I can get it back on. But if you look right in there, you could see a spine. So I don't know if he's holding onto a trophy in there. I don't know if you could see that in there. Let me pull out a sword if you could point it out right in there. You see that spine right there? It's up in there. This dude is just nice, man. Like, 
Come on, NECA. You guys just did it. Out of the park. All right, folks. So if you look through, you can see all the paint scheme on this guy. Let's go through the paint a little bit. He has those kind of like those stripes all over him, that predator and that fishnet that predators always have over their skin. You could especially see it through the back. And let's get a close-up of his face. There you can see that. <coughs> All right. And then he has his gauntlets. These don't open. I was hoping that one would have opened on his arm. You know, if he needs to set off a bomb or whatever. But... Maybe he has some interchangeable ones that he would use if he was in a real fight. All right, folks, so it's review time. We need to check and see how far his head goes down. That's about it. Doesn't really look up too well because of all this, his plasma blaster. Turns to the side okay. Moves around. I'm not going to force it. Uh, it just has way too much going on there. Both of his arms raise up super nice. Hitting at 90. Okay. They obviously they they move around. <coughs> okay. Something just came out of here. Look at this. Damn, things are just popping off this dude like coming out of nowhere. Wow, he is just detailed. Alright. And then let's see if he has a butterfly cup joint hinge. I am not feeling one. And not seeing one. Okay, so he has a standard, he has a standard shoulder. Okay, but what he does have is he has that a nice bicep swivel. So when you hold the shoulder, the rest of the arm will swivel. You can see that he has it on this arm too, and it works like good. Like the armor just goes with it. Look at that. Look at that. Nice soft armor. Okay, double jointed arms. Well, shoulders. All day long, you can see that extender right there, right inside, right there. Okay, has his hands that are really nice. Obviously, they're not going to move up and down because they don't have the hinge on them, but you can spin them as always. Like, come to Predator. All right, so anyway, let me just see if I can take one out and put a one to hold the sword okay because eventually he's gonna have to hold his sword all right all right so we put that one the closed hand same as the other arm all day long beautiful movement NECA stepped up NECA you have done it man this ultimate predator is just ferocious had to had to say that okay there's his claw hand Man, this guy's got tubes just sticking out of everywhere. He's cool. All right, so then right here below his chest. Oh, he has more armor right there on his chest. Look at all this armor. And it's soft goods, like soft goods all day long. Take a look at that. Wow. All right, so let's see if he has an upper torso, upper uh, below his chest. He has movement below his chest. You can see that, okay? He would have a swivel, he does, but all this is holding it down. This is like connected. This, his utility belt is connected to his chest piece, to all this uh, plasma blaster. Everything is just all connected to this. So as far as like getting any kind of rotation, like hip movement, there you go. You got it. In order to get his uh, waist swivel, you have to hold on to his utility belt right and then you got to move the legs and he'll get the waist swivel okay don't try to force it with here because then it's going to break all of this okay and then he has not much hip hip swivel or hip movement at all not very good can he hit that anderson silva kick all day long oh yeah this guy's gonna boot somebody Okay, the other leg is a little bit stiff. Oh, there it is. That's why. The other leg is a little bit stiff because it has this piece attached to it. Okay. 
So it's just one solid piece. I, I hope I didn't break this one. No, I didn't. Yeah, I guess it's like that. Because it doesn't have a break on the end. So I guess it's like that. But I'm the, this one is connected though. So I'm not going to force that one. Okay. And then as far as like Bruce Lee kick. There you go. Super nice. You can see the joint work in the bottom. I got a funny feeling a lot of you that are watching this video are going to run to the store right away and go buy this thing. Because if this is your first time seeing it, my God, this is a nice figure. All right, folks. So let's see the double jointed knees. He has that pin, pin there, pin there. Let's see how operational it is with his knee pads right there. If See if they really get in the way. Okay, let's... Got to get that thing to go up even more. Is it double? Yeah, it is a double. Okay, not getting it. That's all I can get on that leg. I'm not going to force it. Because I may never find this predator again. Okay, and then this one's the same way. I'm not going to force it. But you could see the pin there, pin there, and you could see that big insert. That is right there. That's the um, extender for that double jointed knee. So he does have it. But I'm, not, I'm just not going to force it. Alright. Does he have any swivel above, below or above the knee? No he doesn't. Okay. Has, late, has foot swivel all day long. Really nice. Has rocker tilt all day long down it's about how you're going to get it there up and that's it he got that index toe you can see there they just outdid themselves with this this is just a nice piece just super nice piece let's have him hold his saber real quick see if this is the hand that does it did i grab the wrong hand let me see here Yeah, there you go. Everybody's like, whoa. This guy's cool, man. Look at that. Oh my God. Just stunning. Just stunning. Wow. All right, let's change out his head. Let's see. Does it pretty easy. Has a has just a little little peg right there sticking out. Okay, there you go. The holes in the bottom of that head. Let's see if it'll go on. You got to get a lot of his hair out of the way to really pop these things on. What do you guys think? Super nice. Alright. Let's see if we can get the other head on. Oh, this head's just... Just nice. Oh, man. Man, I'm probably going to catch a fever. This is just... Woo, man, NECA. You guys just killed it. Knocked it out the park. All his, his dreads are like getting in the way. All right. What do you guys think? Look at that. All right, so hit those lights. Turn off that light right there. We're going to turn off some lights, see how you guys can see it. We're going to do it right now, right in front of you. Just turn off these lights. All right, folks. Can you see him? You're still rolling, right, son? All right, look at his eyes. Just nice. All right, let's turn these back on. Hit that light work. And there you have it. 
predator just vicious all right all right folks so we're getting ready to wrap this thing up and we're gonna be right back folks so what i forgot to mention is the tail of the tape so this predator is roughly around eight inches tall okay so you can see it right there which comes out to almost 20 almost 21 centimeters all right folks all right folks so that'll do it for most tourism to yours if you did like this video and have not yet subscribed to this channel please do so and hit the subscribe button hit that bell for notifications so that way you know when the next video like this one hit also you could follow us on instagram at most toys that's m-o-e-s-t-o-y-s most toys on instagram we are also on tiktok at most toy room so go to tiktok plug in most toy room you will find us we will be coming soon to twitch so we're coming soon to twitch we are at most toy room so you could check us out there and from this edition of NECA's ultimate armored lost predator from the movie predator 2 good night everyone